Dang, so here we go. I finally got a USB rubber ducky. And time to unbox it. A few moments later. The USB rubber ducky. Not sponsored, by the way. This video is not sponsored by these. I will talk about alternatives, cheaper ones, better ones. A guy actually got this thing for me, so shout out, David. But yeah, as you can read here, looks like a flash drive, types like a keyboard. What bad USBs basically are. It's designed to look exactly like your typical thumb drive. But when you plug it in, there is a chip inside of it, which makes the computer detect it not as a USB drive, but as a keyboard. Let's say I plug in the USB rubber ducky and I program it to go Windows R, CMD dash C and run some kind of command or download something online. And I just did that all with the keyboard. So we're going to play around with a few modules, see what we can come up with. This thing was low key expensive, so I'll talk about cheaper alternatives. Getting started, learn how to write your first payload in DuckyScript. So that's their official programming language. And unlock the power of keystroke injection to automate any task from system administration to cybersecurity. Wait, wow. So you can put it into a computer, tablet, or smartphone. And it also has USB C. All right, so let's check it out. Oh my God. And here we go. We got USB C and we got the normal USB. Honestly, I'd expect it to at least look a little different, but this looks exactly the same as a regular USB. Okay, so I'm just gonna plug it in right now and see if anything happens. So it did open up a new drive. We have docs, payloads, encoder, getting started, inject.bin. Honestly, what I wanna make it do, is download and execute some reverse connection. Okay, so I'm to lock in, make something cool, and I'll see y'all later. Peace. All right. So time to put this thing to the test. I made three scripts. So we're going to test all of them out. First, let me show you how to even use this thing. So basically, if I just put this in, nothing's going to happen. I don't have any script like set to run. Nothing. OK, but now if I click the button, bang, here we go. From here, we can manage the files. I just made this folder called scripts. We got all of these. So yeah, we're going to test this on my um, laptop. We're going to bring it in in a sec and test all these out. Which one do you think we should start with? Let's go Wi-Fi password, I guess. Now nah, we're gonna start with reverse shell. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> Paste it here. And basically, we're about to get the connection on our phone. Okay, so I, I put in the IP wrong. Take two, take two. Okay, so we're listening. Bang. And bang. Admin shell. Pro tip. If you want to check if you have admin privileges, run net session. If it says access denied, then you don't have admin privileges, but if it says anything else, then you do. Sorry, calc. So yeah, delete system 32 now. Open something else. Okay, bang. So we saw that was quick. That took like total of four or five seconds. So you need five seconds of physical access with this thing and you get a reverse shell. Yeah, so that was the reverse shell. Let's move on. <laughs> Okay, next we're gonna be testing the Wi-Fi password extractor. With the Wi-Fi password extractor, I kinda wanted to play around with some of the other features as well. Cause not only does it do keystroke injection, it also has like a micro SD card inside of it and it works as a storage device as well. So you can technically use both features. What this does, it extracts the Wi-Fi passwords and then saves it onto the USB. So you can put it in, broom, extracts the password and now the usb has the wi-fi password so it doesn't like connect to any server or anything okay so we're loki just gonna test this on my own pc since we don't really need the laptop for this but we are gonna use the laptop for the fork bomb for the wi-fi password that we'll just do it here because it's easier bam put it in didn't press the button Ooh. okay so over here I make it save a text file, the computer name underscore wifi.txt. And over here we see all the Wi-Fi passwords. 
Oh shit. Technically do this with anything. You can do it with like Discord tokens, Chrome, Stingies. I'm, I don't want to get too specific. Yeah, so um, yeah, that's the Wi-Fi password. And then if we take this out, then let's actually push the button. And over here we see we can open the file. So you can pull up to any computer, plug this in, extract some information and take it home. Okay, and the last feature that we have is the fork bomb. If you don't know what a fork bomb is, unsubscribe, I can't lie, it's a pretty simple concept. I'm a little disappointed. But anyway, I'm about to show you what it is, so don't worry. Actually, this isn't even a fork bomb, I just realized. <laughs> it ain't even a fork bomb, it, literally, it just crashes the CPU. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, so you're about to see live making a fork bomb for the rubber ducky. All right, so we have, I'm going off the top of my head. GYR, which is like Windows R. Wait 100 milliseconds. All right, boom. Here we go. So um, this definitely isn't uh, my my proudest script, but hey, if it works, we're chilling. So we're gonna copy this. Okay, let's go. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> Whoops! Um, I, yeah, yeah. Taking it out isn't gonna fix this one. Okay, wait, hold on, wait. What should we do? I feel bad for the CPU. This laptop's about to be become even slower. <laughs> no! <laughs> no, there's not to restart. I can't. Lie. Educational purposes only. <laughs> no, let me. <laughs> Task. Why does no one ever teach you how to deal with it? <laughs> Have to what? Uh, and just like close the computer. All right, so basically what I learned is that you can make this thing do anything. Um, because I can do a reverse shell, that also means I can do a rat. That also means I can do like other stuff. Um, and basically the possibilities with this thing are endless. And by the way, USB-C too. Maybe in the future we can also like cook up a few things for MacBooks or maybe go out in public and go crazy. So about alternatives. Now this is not a sponsored video. Okay, Hack5, it's a cool company, but this video ain't sponsored because this thing is expensive as hell. Okay, so let's talk about alternatives. So we have the Mal USB uh, by Satonic. We have that. We have Arduino. You can literally just buy an Arduino board and do this yourself. You can make a bad USB yourself because like, this is just a bad USB, okay? That's branded under the rubber ducky name, but you don't have to get this exact one. Honestly, for budget options, I would probably just use an Arduino. That's what my friend did and it's a lot easier that way. Um, but this does have some pretty cool features. So if you can afford it, then yeah. So yeah, that is it for this video. Peace. Oh. Oh. Why is it still going? Why is it still going? <laughs>